I am Abraham Hernandez. I am a certified rigger. My job is to inspect the rigging, determine its working capacity, and to properly attach it to the load. Here I am going to explain to you how to calculate safe working load for rope and wire rope. This safe working load is a number that represents one-fifth of the rigging capacity. Let me explain. Safe working load for rope. In this case, we're using three-quarter inch nylon, like this. Number one, put the diameter into eighths. So we have three quarters equal six eighths. We circle the six because that's the number that interests us, us right now. Number two, multiply top number times top number times constant. In this case, it'll be six times six times 60. Now let me explain how we got this 60. Here, we have a list of the constants for the different types of ropes. If you're using manila rope, the constant is 20. If you're using polyethylene rope, the constant is 35. If you're using polypropylene rope, the constant is 40. And if you're using nylon, the constant is 60. Well, we're using nylon, that's why we have a 60. So, 6 times 6 times 60, equals 1,860. The answer is, answer is in pounds, so that means our safe working load equals 1,860 pounds for our nylon rope. Now the safe working load for wire rope. In this case, I'm gonna be talking about half inch cable. Number one, diameter times diameter times eight. So the diameter is half, so it's half times half times eight. Since we're multiplying fractions, I went ahead and put the eight over one, that way I could do multiply across, and it gave me eight quarters, which is equal to two. The answer is in tons, so a safe working load for a half inch cable is two tons. Thank you.